Welcome to Virtual Realms. I'm your host, Ranger One. And today we're looking at a very handy, although somewhat niche, mod for Ark Survival Evolved called Pillars Plus. Yes, this is made by the same gentleman that brought you Structures Plus and Platforms Plus, along with a number of other very handy mods. This is put out by Orion Sun. I think you'll find it handy for certain purposes that you may run into in the course of your builds. Let me show you what I mean. If you've ever tried to build your own elevated platform or long bridge from scratch, you're well aware that every couple of ceilings or ramps that you build away from a foundation or pillar, you need to place additional supports. Well, unless you have foundations lined up somewhere below it already. Often it's very time consuming to put additional foundations in place and it can be unsightly to have a literal forest of pillars supporting your structure. Pillars Plus is a handy way to quickly and easily get around that restriction. You don't place the pillars in this mod on the ground. You attach them to the underside of your ceilings as you build. In their initial form, these pillars aren't very large, making them easy to deal with. And once they snap in place, they provide structural support regardless of whether they are actually touching the ground at that point or not. This means that you can carry on with your building activities without interruption, and then go back and adjust the pillars to look more aesthetically pleasing once your build is complete. Now, this build was done all with straight wooden pillars. And as you can see, it makes things more than a little bit cluttered below the platform. I'm going to fix that, but before I do, let me show you the settings available for the basic straight pillars that come in this mod. Now, as with every mod that Orion Sun has come out with, you don't necessarily have to demolish a pillar to get rid of it. You can simply pick it up. You can set the length of each one of these pillars and the thickness. When you have things looking the way you want, you can save the parameters of the pillar you're working on and then load them to any other pillar that you choose. The ability to do so can save you an immense amount of time. This is what the pillars look like before you modify them, and I've chosen to use the sloped pillars in this example. All of the pillars in the mod are available in wood, stone, or metal, and be either round or square. You'll notice they have a couple of extra options in the menu, in addition to those you find in the straight pillars. As before, you can adjust the pillar's length and thickness, but now you can also adjust the angle of the pillar, as well as rotate them in any direction that you choose. This gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility. You'll notice I've painted the straight pillars to the right to blend in more readily with the redwood surroundings, but I'll leave any changes we make unpainted so that they'll be easier for you to see. Before we get to making those changes, I wanted to show you a couple of things about setting the slope on these pillars. Let's go ahead and click into the appropriate menu. You can use the slider bar to make broad adjustments, or manually type in the angle to make adjustments of less than one degree if necessary. All of the parameters for this pillar can be changed in the same way. Setting the angle to 90 degrees allows you to make support rails of various sizes underneath your platforms or bridges, as I've just demonstrated. And if you set that slope to zero, you'll have a vertical pillar. I'm going to cut away for a few minutes to remove some of the original straight pillars that I'd used, and replace them with some sloped pillars to give you a very basic idea of the look you can achieve. Well, night set in, and it's a beautiful one. Fortunately, the platform we're working on is pretty well lit, so I think you'll be able to see how things turned out. All of the outer row of pillars has been removed from either side, and has been replaced with sloped ones. Once everything was set and stable, I only had to modify the parameters of one pillar and save it, and then quickly applied them to all the other pillars on that side. It was a simple matter to reverse the angle of slope for the other side, and well, then we're done. You'll notice the area below the platform looks much cleaner now, and yet still gives the whole platform the appearance of being structurally sound. I could just as easily have consolidated the number of pillars down even further, and made any that remained thicker in comparison if necessary so everything would look right. 
but I think you get the idea. Now that you know the basics of how the Pillars Plus mod works, I'm sure it won't take you any time at all to quickly and easily construct everything from elevated cities to bases built on the sides of a sheer cliff face. And perhaps more importantly, they won't look like they're defying the laws of physics when you're done. Having said that, personally I've always found the laws of physics to be highly overrated and tend to treat them more as a set of flexible guidelines than anything else. Which likely explains a number of unusual scars and those annoying aches and pains that come on every time it's about to rain. Oh, before I forget, I think that I have most of the fine tuning done now for my new equipment, although I did have a bit of a setback last week. We had a near miss from an unseasonably early tornado, which is fine, but the associated lightning with it managed to blow out the audio system that I use for entertainment and editing purposes. I have a temporary workaround in place, but it seems that I'm going to have to find a more suitable replacement in the near future. Thanks to you, my loyal viewers, it shouldn't take me too long to get that accomplished. Well, that's all I have for you for now. You'll find a link to the Pillars Plus mod in the down below. And until I see you again, have a good night and a better tomorrow.